Hi, how are you today? Today I'm doing another set of wine holder and coasters. I uh, will be using this beautiful green color. It is a Just Paint Mica pigment in the color seaweed. Don't use green very often, so I I'm going to be combining it with a copper color. I'm hoping that it's a copper color. It looks like it. It is a crystal resin pigment, and they don't name any of their pigments, so it's kind of a guess, and fingers crossed. I'll also be using copper flakes from Kino with a couple of drops of um, copper mixative thrown in there. The Kino flakes look almost rose gold in the container. That's why I wanted to add a few drops of the copper mixative just to um, hopefully give that a little bit more of a copper look. It's kind of an odd color. I should have shown the container. I'll do that next time because it's weird. Anyways, I'm just going to be doing a random pour. Nothing too fancy. Just um, getting the resin in there and hoping for some nice effects. Not, don't have a particular pattern or anything in mind. So with Valentine's Day coming up just over a month, I guess it's our next holiday or celebration, I want to make a few more sets of these um, wine holders and coasters. I'll be putting them on my Facebook page. I do have a link for my Facebook and my Instagram in my description. So if you're interested in any of my pieces, you can check out my Facebook page and send me a message through there or my email is also available in my description as well. My prices are very reasonable and they're priced in Canadian, which for just about every other country in the world is, you know, a, a lesser dollar amount than what you would pay in American or Euro or whatever. I think Australia is about the only country that the dollar is on par. Anyhow, enough of that. Um, so yeah, that uh, copper is looking really great against the green. That green is such a beautiful deep color and copper is my favorite mix with green. Literally just, I have no plan. I am just swirling it in there, hoping for the best. Resin is great in that it'll move around, it'll mix around with all the other things that you're putting in with it. And it's kind of hard to make it look bad. <laughs> That's what I love about it. Just if you're using nice products and I love shiny things, I love sparkle. So if the mica is sparkly and the glitter is shiny and everything is pretty and sparkly, I'm, I'm happy. And the resin, you know, does all the work. So the resin I'm using is crystal resin. It is a one-to-one -one ratio. I just get plastic cups from the dollar store. They have little ribs and little lines on the cup. And I just get down at eye level and make sure that the resin in one cup and the hardener in the other cup are perfectly level. And then I scrape the resin, which is usually thicker, out and put it into the cup that has the hardener and then that way it's a little bit easier to stir because the hardener is usually thinner um, less viscous so it's easier to stir and get everything scraped off the edges and everything with the hardener in the cup first and then adding the resin to it so I do go back several times to make sure that I hit this with the heat gun. I hit it a couple times, get it nice and warm so that it flows around a little bit better to try to get the the green to mix and try to get those flakes to move around. 
and of course to get rid of as many bubbles as possible. Yeah, I'm already pretty happy with this set, at, even at this point, because the colors together are just beautiful. That copper color is really nice, and the green is dark and shiny. Yep, really happy. I do go back the next day and put a clear top coat on top. So later th that day, I go to un unmold these. <clears throat> Is it demold or unmold? I can never, I can never decide. Anyway, look at that. Aren't those beautiful? <laughs> They're just so pretty. So pretty. I think this is probably one of my favorite sets in this uh, in this mold set. I often overlook green because of the popularity of blue and purple and teal. I forget to use green or I choose not to use green in favor of the more popular colors. But I really love green. And my favorite combination for green is copper. Let me know what you think of this color combination and this mold set in the comments. I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe, leave a comment, and hit the like button. not quite sure what I'm going to be bringing up next. I know I'm going to do a few more of this set for Valentine's Day. Probably, you know, the quintessential pink heart romantic set. And I'm not quite sure what else. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hello to all my new subscribers. Thanks for hanging out. Bye.